everyone, it's Kelly Klapstein here with the Brother Scan and Cut Machine and I'm, today I'm going to share with you how I've made my very own star stencil. Now I have a repeating star stencil that I want to fill a 12 by 12 sheet with, these tiny stars. Now if you ever have a repeating um, image or pattern, um, I go into my toolbox here, press this key with the wrench and the button and I go to the third page of my toolbox and I see pattern interval. So if I want my, um, let's say I choose five stars I want to cut out and I want them spaced closely together, you choose a smaller number. So if I want them uh, spaced far apart, I will choose a larger number. So for pattern interval, I will choose two to make uh, my rows of stars. So I'm going to click OK and click Pattern. I'm going to go into Basic Shapes and the fifth page I have stars. I'm going to choose this star. I will choose, uh, make the star, first of all I'm going to make these stars tiny and they will be 0 .60 inches wide. And I have already calculated on my 12 by 12 mat on the screen I can get 16 straight across and that's just playing with it so you can play around with the size of your shape and the number and you will determine how many will fit across for any kind of a, a making any kind of a stencil that has a repetitive pattern so I choose set and there is my row of stars now I could have just chosen a hundred stars and they would all be lined up perfectly on my mat like this however I don't want to do that I want to have my stars on my stencil kind of alternating. I don't want them lined up right under each other. So I am going to um, save this as a unified row. I will go into my bounding boxes, select all of them, OK, and then I'll press this button to unify. OK to unifying patterns, I'll press OK. And there I have my row of stars. And it's saved. Now I will go into, um, back into choosing how many rows I want. And I will choose just two. OK. And there I have my repeating pattern. And so I will drag it down and move it over slightly so that it is, you can see, I'll try to zoom in a bit more, you can see they are not exactly under each other. There you go. And if you want to see more clearly what you're doing, of course, press your zoom. And you can see how nicely they are alternating. Alright, so I'm going to unzoom and go back to my original buttons here. Then I am going to unify these two rows. So I will choose these two bounding boxes, OK, and unify the rows together. OK to unify my alternating two rows, OK. Now I have these two rows set up and I will, mu I will easily um, actually save this onto my machine. Okay. Now I will go back into my patterns and find my saved data of those two star rows right there. Click OK. Oops. Sorry. Let's go back. Save data. Find my star patterns. OK. And then I am going to add another row. So I can either do that this way by going back and adding it. And it will be right on top. So it looks like it's not there, but it is there. And then instead of going back, you can see I just slid it right down. Instead of going back into patterns, I can just click this box 
end my width and length and number and add, oh, let's say five more. There they are. So I will just drag them down and fill up my sheet as best I can. And you can see how easily and quickly they move. This is like making a stencil in 10 minutes or less. And I have room for more. So I will add uh, another one, probably only one more. Good, and if you ever want to check, you can go into your Zoom and see that everything is lined up nicely and spaced out nicely. And there is my star stencil. So I click OK, and now I will save this as a whole. And I will not, uh, I can overwrite my row of stars and it is saving it. Okay. Now all I have to do is get a transparency and cut out my stars. I'll show you how. Now that my star stencil is designed, I'm going to cut it out. What do I cut it out of? Well, from the Crafters Workshop, you can get these plain 12 by 12 stencil sheets. They're completely solid and you can cut it out of that. Um, you can find any transparency. These transparencies are acetates even at Staples. Uh, my local scrapbook store has these old Hambly transparencies, so I am going to use this as my stencil. So I will just stick it onto my mat. And the stencil, your mat has to be super sticky to hold the plastic. Now the next step is I'm going to use my deep cut blade. It is purple. I will pop out my other blade and I will set it at about two and a half. Two, two and a half is good for this transparency. It's not a very thick weight or heavy weight. I pop that in there. Then I load my mat. Press OK, cut, and the start button. And now my stars have finished cutting. I press OK, I unload my mat. And you can see, sorry, my mat's really been well used and well loved. And then I just lift off. You can see all the stars we made. And here is my stencil. Is it visible? It's hard to show. You can kind of see it there in the light. And what's really cool is the rest of these stars I can just pop off with my spatula later and use them on another product uh, uh, project as even like a sequin or I can color them and have lots of fun with them too. So there you have it, your do-it-yourself stencil using the Brother Scan and Cut. Thanks for watching.